G grimy. All right, awkward life moments part two. Part one on the channel. We got part two. Let's see what he cooked up. Let me ask you a question, young whippersnapper. Have you ever just been laying in bed trying to catch some Z's? Warm covers, air conditioned room, pillows colder than the frozen food section at Walmart, all around pristine vibes. And then all of a sudden your brain decides it wants to travel back in time like Marty McFly and recall the most humiliating and flustering memories of all time. How come when I actually need to remember something vital and indispensable, my brain is powered by a hamster wheel? But when it comes to remember something embarrassing, it's like a core memory from inside out. I couldn't. It's a good way to put it. I ain't gonna lie. It's a good way to think about it. I mean, I feel like it's because it is embarrassing and people tend to like put embarrassment, negative events or things, uh, traumatizing things above the positives or like the good in life that happens in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easier to remember the negatives than it is the positive. And maybe that's because not enough negatives happen too often or negatives are like damn near traumatizing where it's like. It's vivid. It's vivid in your head. You feel me? I can tell you what I ate yesterday, but I can narrate the time I fell on my face right in front of everybody in the third grade with remarkable accuracy and precision. But I guess awkwardness is just like puberty. Everybody has to go through it. We will once again be discussing some of the most degrading and discomforting moments that can happen to anybody on a daily Get basis. It. Comment down below some of the most awkward or embarrassing moments and like and subscribe it. if you're new. First, we got to talk about saying bye to somebody and then walking in the same direction as them. I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that everybody has been through this inopportune scenario. This is easily <laughs> one of the most inconvenient moments in life, especially when it's someone that you're not really close with. Like if it's one of my homies, we'll probably just laugh it off and keep shit pushing. But when yeah. it's somebody I don't really know, we just end up giving each other these unseasoned ass smiles, bro. Because I'm not going to lie. <laughs> unseasoned ass smile. We'll talk about some. All right, bro. Once I say goodbye to somebody, my controller disconnects or something. Especially since my social battery lasts as long as the average high school relationship. And then we end up walking at the same pace in the same direction like we're some army soldiers or something. I can literally feel my soul leave my body quicker than LeBron leaves the court after a loss. I also despise when you're trying to get out of someone's way and they decide they want to start salsa dancing with you. I got to pull off Kyrie. Oh my god, bro. That Which way are you going? Hey, bro. Another awkward thing is trying to go for a dap and this shit. You trying to go for one of these and they go for one of these. And it's just like, oh my god, that's weird, game. Level moves to try and get past these niggas, bro. Next, walking back to your seat after bowling. I'm just trying to rejoice in a convivial night with <laughs> my friends. Why the hell does it feel? <laughs> Yo, he two for two right now. He two for two right now with this. Oh my god, that awkward walk back, gang. Next, walking back to your seat after bowling. I'm just oh. trying to rejoice in a convivial night with my friends. Why the hell does it feel like I'm on stage after performing the corniest musical of all time? And it doesn't matter if I throw a gutter ball or if I get a strike. Everybody's going to be staring at me like I walked in the class <laughs> late or something. Most of the time, I damn near want to start walking backwards like Michael Jackson to avoid this intolerable experience. And not only are the people who I'm actually bowling with staring at me, niggas from other lands are watching me too. Like, yep. damn, am I the main attraction or something, bro? Every time this happens, I feel like I'm walking the plank on some Pirates of the Caribbean shit. I can only cool. imagine that this is what the TV sees every Super Bowl. And to add insult to injury, most of the Bro. time, I have to wait for my ball to come back from that mechanical journey after my first attempt. This whole dilemma yep. just feels maladroit and gooberish. I don't know if I'm supposed to start bowing or if I'm supposed to start clapping my hands or something. This shit is like an unskippable cutscene in real life, bro. The devs really need to patch this glitch in the next update. Next, <laughs> saying the wrong answer in class. They say that we're supposed to learn from our mistakes, yeah. but I just keep kicking my ass with no hesitation. It's bad enough yep. when the teacher calls on you when you don't even have your hand raised. Like, you clearly said I don't have a fucking clue in the world about what the answer is, but you still calling me anyway? My nigga, this ain't po- Bro, they used to be on my ass in third grade, bro. They were on my, oh, every other grade too, but third grade specifically because I was failing and I stood back in third, but that teacher was on my ass, bro. What's the answer, no? I'm like, I don't know. Why you picked me? I didn't, for, for one, I didn't raise my hand because I don't know. And if I knew, I probably still wouldn't raise my hand, but you, you trying to get the answer out of me and you're going to constantly hear, I don't know, because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, teachers need to cut that shit. I ain't gonna lie. It, I mean, I, I guess they do it to include everybody, make sure everybody paying attention or whatever, but it's like, stop, gang. Because then it's like, that's embarrassing to me, bro. I don't know, and now everybody looking at me like, damn, this motherfucker dumb as hell, bro. Like, 
Pokemon talking about Gabe I choose you but the embarrassment gets amplified times 50 when you willingly raise your hand to answer a question and that shit couldn't be further from the right answer bro and then niggas all of a sudden want to turn to comedians and start cracking jokes like at this point everybody in the class is going to catch more two pieces than a KFC customer and as if that wasn't bad enough the teacher used to try and publicly humiliate us in front of the entire class bro I would raise my hand quicker than a bidder at an auction and then would proceed to explain what I thought was a pretty admissible answer but then the teacher would hit me with the anybody else want to answer what you mean anybody else want to answer or even worse when they say can anybody help him out my nigga I'm oh. now everybody in the class thinks my IQ was lower than Sneeko's body count next walking outside the store without buying anything I think this is one of the only oh normal God, things that feel yeah. illegal when I do it bro facts bro I be going in a Walmart trying to find some shit don't find it just walk out with, like bare hit like nothing in my hands and it's even more awkward when the people at the receipt checking receipts at the door they're just looking at you like they don't even, like they don't even say have a good day nothing they're just staring at you bro i'm like no i didn't fucking steal nothing you know what i'm saying Especially when it's in a small store or gas station. My brain tries to get me to act normal, but my body starts combating that motherfucker and I end up looking shadier than Eminem. All of a sudden, I lose all my motor skills and forget how to operate properly. Walking out those doors, I would feel more on edge than Mufasa, bro. I feel like I'm more apprehensive than I would be if I was actually stealing something from the store. It feels like there's a target on my back bigger than a dark one. I always make sure that my hands aren't in my pockets, bro. But this shit is always so awkward, especially when there's not an abundance of people in the store. I wonder if they think I'm broke. I mean, they'd be right, but that's still not right of them to make they a sound right, like that. Yeah. I be thinking the alarms are gonna go off for some inexplicable reason, bro. Next. I think most people who attend this academic alcove are rarely able to consume a quality meal in the morning, mainly due to the fact that school starts early in oh, the this. daylight savings. But most niggas end up drinking a swig of water and chewing on a piece of gum to try to suffice. That's why I never understood those lumpish ass kids in those movies who literally have an entire fucking buffet made for them in the morning and just grab a piece of toast like, sorry mom, I'm gonna be late for the bus. <laughs> that ass waste of food and shit. Plus, meanwhile, my <laughs> stomach is over here sounding like a damn tuber or something, bro. Exactly. But anyway, now I'm just trying to survive until lunch comes around. But that's the that that shit is worse when the qu classroom's cl uh, quiet, bro. Everybody working on here is on your fucking stomach and shit. I'm like fuck. Then when I'm in class, I guess my stomach feels like it's the main character or something and lets out the most cacophonous and bellowing sound known to man. And I swear this only happens when the classroom is dead silent, bro. Why the fuck does my stomach decide it wants to reference See? the regular show intro? Dead ass. My stomach bubbling. And it's not necessarily the fact that my stomach growls per se. It's the fact that niggas mistake that sound for a fart and think or I be fart, coming to cheese. Yep. But since we're on the topic of farting, I always find it humiliating when my chair or shoe makes a farting sound. And now I gotta try to prove my fucking innocence by trying to reproduce that noise. But then I can never find the formula to replicate this objectionable yep. noise. And now everybody in class thinks I let one rip like I'm playing Beyblade or something, bro. This would always happen at the most inconvenient <laughs> times. Now I'm over here looking like I'm trying to tap dance, trying to plead my case, but to no avail. I don't even know how this inexplicable juncture used to occur because our school floors used to be dustier than my computer monitor. Now everybody thinks I'm farting in class with no remorse or dejection. The minuscule amount of ore that I have left just goes down the drain like little Georgie did. Next, you've ever just been chilling on the couch, watching some informal television, maybe some anime, or maybe a movie of some sort. But regardless, you're enjoying your time. But then all of a sudden, somebody enters the room and the actors decide they want to start filming OnlyFans content for absolutely no reason at all. I would never be able to fathom this shit, bro. It would literally be the most conventional and ordinary movie. But then as soon as someone walks in the room, the freakiest shit wants to start materializing on the screen. Oh. Or even worse, when you're watching a movie with one of your parents in a, <clears throat> let's just say, naughty scene comes. On. The tension in the room was thicker than a jar of Skippy. Words can't describe how uncomfortable and disturbed I feel, bro. All of a sudden, I start examining the floor like a fucking carpenter or something. Ooh, this mahogany is very embellished. How have I never right. noticed this before? Has this vase always been here? I think I should start cosplaying as Stevie Wonder and suppress everything around me. Or I'll slowly just start making my way to the bathroom or really whatever excuse I can conjure up in that moment. And then my parents are trying to act like I was the lead director in a movie or something. Like, bro, this wasn't my idea. I swear the scenes only last like 30 seconds, but it feels like a damn hour, bro. From now on, I'm only watching movies that are rated G with my parents. Elmo saves Christmas and shit like that. Next. Being at a friend's house and they start getting yelled at by their parents. Bro, this has happened more times than what should be humanly possible. <laughs> Me and my homie would just be chilling in the living room or something, and then his Holy. mom would come in and start cooking the fuck out of him for not taking out the trash or whatever. I'm just saying there's. I just, I just, bro, I just be like. I be in tune with the game. I, I pretend I'm not even hearing what the fuck they're Twiddling my about. thumbs, waiting for their slanderous rant to conclude. Not gonna lie, though, I be holding back the craziest cackle, bro. But at the same time, it felt like I was getting yelled at too. Slanderous rant to conclude. Not gonna lie, though, I be holding back the craziest cackle, bro. <laughs> I be holding back the craziest cackle. But at the same time, it felt like I was getting yelled at too. Yo. I remember when I twas but a young lad, I was over at one of my friends' house, and the nigga straight up got a Tom and Jerry ass whooping, bro. That <laughs> shit was straight up a cartoon. And he walked back into the room with tears on his face, and I could smell the misery and torment radiating from this nigga. If your parents are comfortable enough to whoop your ass in front of me, then we pretty much family at that point, bro. Next, Damn, introducing yourself on the first day of school. I think every oh. living MC on earth can conceive the fact that this is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most awkward moments in life. Like, with all due respect, nobody in this classroom gives a fuck about what my favorite flavor of ice cream is. That ass, bro. Hi, right, my name is so and so, and I like, and I did this, and I don't like. 
So, bro. Oh god, that shit dead ass be awkward, bro. And of course, the teacher makes us stand up when we're speaking, so everybody can get a clear view of me answering how many pets I have and what my favorite thing to do on the weekend is. And I swear, my teacher used to be nosier than Isabella, bro. Gabe, what places did you visit over the summer? The fridge and the couch, nigga. Now what? Presenting in class was equally as degrading, especially when the teacher's trying to quiet down the class and you're just standing there looking like an NPC. And then you always got that one snobby motherfucking class talking about, "Can you speak up, my nigga? Can you shut up?" Yeah, I'm fucking. Slap fly out your fucking face, buddy. Can you speak louder? No. I ain't speaking louder. Especially for you, bucko. Clean your ears. Motherfuckers just add salt to the wound, bro. Next. When you gotta make small talk with that one family member that you haven't seen since you were two, I swear every family reunion, a new relative DLC drops, bro. Some new auntie or great cousin comes out the woodwork talking about, I used to change your diapers when you were little. In the great words of Thanos, I don't even know who you are. But in all seriousness, these niggas be telling me shit about me that I didn't even know about myself. They dad be trying to give biographies about me, bro. <laughs> then my parents try to get me to converse with these anonymous niggas. Bro, with all due respect, I couldn't tell you from a stranger on the street. Talking about you. Oh, bro, you know what's awkward to me? When somebody's on the phone with anybody, a friend, a family, or whatever, and they're like, I'm with so-and-so. I didn't ask to be on the fucking camera. I just be like, yo, chill, bro. I don't want to talk. Leave me alone, bro. I don't want no grown up so much i've never seen before in all my that days and then awkward. my parents are trying to convince me that i know who these people are trash ass gaslight bro how do you expect me to remember my cousins neighbors stepdads adopted sons pet sitters teacher little sisters uncle named marcel honorable mention please tell me i'm not the only person who pretends to be on their phone when they walk past a group of people that look like they're about around my age i don't know why i always insist on doing this but i digress now look whenever i walk past an individual everything's cool beans but when i walk past a conglomerate of people that's where shit gets wicked i start abusing the calculator and weather app bro i don't even know why this not even me. occurs because i know that my chance of seeing these people ever again in life is slimmer than a slice of school party pizza. I usually carry myself with a lot of confidence, you know, I value man and whatnot. But then I start second guessing myself because when I walk past them, they start going quiet like some church mice or something. What's the matter, bruv? Cat got your tongue. But I think it's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. That Comment boy, down below your that boy flew through this video. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro. Most awkward or embarrassing moment in life, or just some awkward and embarrassing things in general. Like, subscribe, get new, join the family. We going crazy. 2024 takeover. Isn't full effect, baby. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video. You see, I'm stuttering over my words, but I gotta get up out of here. But thank y'all for showing support. Thank y'all for making it to the end if you did. I love y'all. I'm gonna keep the bangers coming. We going crazy. Comment down below any other suggestions too that you wanna see. But with all that being said, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for rocking with me. You know, it's always a blessing to be able to put out these videos for y'all. I hope this video finds you in good spirits. I'm G Grimy. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace. Yes, Arsky. Yes, Arsky. Let me see. Bro, the teacher asking you a question on demo, you don't know the answer. Generally, so awkward. Facts. IQ lower than Sneeko's body count. Crazy. The worst day is when you're chilling, then your brain reminds you that you called your teacher mom. I ain't never called the teacher mom, bro. I could be tired as fuck. What? I never heard of that before. So glad I never did that, literally. When the teacher tells a group of kids to do something, and half the class just stares at them like they're aliens. I would feel more on edge than Mufasa. <laughs> this came out as soon as I had nothing to do. Enjoy your meal, you too. Oh my god. Enjoy your meal, you too. Oh my god, that is awkward. That is fucking awkward. I ain't gonna lie. We're social animals. Embarrassment is terrifying to us. Shit, man. Come on, man. Let me know some awkward things y'all been through. I'm finna comment my own right after this, man. I ain't gonna lie. Man, finna 300k too, you feel me? Let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.